Das Siva Purana Part 1 Published by Motilal Banasi This Publishers PVT Limited Delhi 2002 Siva Purana Mahatmyam Siva Purana which is Vara Samhita Chapter 8 Siva's Forgiveness of Brahma Nandi Keshwara said 1 Mahadeva then created a wonderful person Bhairava from the middle of his brows to quell the pride of Brahma 2 this Bhairava knelt before the Lord in the battlefield and said, O Lord, what shall I do? Please give me your directives quickly. 3. Dear, here is Brahma, the first deity of the universe. Worship him with your sharp-pointed quick-moving sword. 4. With one of his hands he caught hold of the tuft of Brahma's fifth head that was guilty of haughtily uttering a falsehood, and with the hands he furiously shook his sword in order to cut it off. 5. Your father trembled like a plantain tree in a whirlwind, with his ornaments scattered here and there, his cloth ruffled and loosened, the garland displaced, the upper cloth hanging loose and the glossy tuft disheveled, and fell at the feet of Bhairava. 6. Meanwhile, the sympathetic Asyutha, desirous of saving Brahma, shed tears over the lotus-like feet of our Lord and said, with palms joined in reverence, just like a child lisping words of entreaty to its father. Asyutha said. 7. O Lord, it was you who gave him five heads, as a special symbol, long ago. Hence please forgive him his first guilt. Please favor him. 8. The Lord, thus requested by Asyutha, relented and in the presence of all devas asked Bhairava to desist from punishing Brahma. 9. Then the Lord turned to the deceitful Brahma, who bent down his neck and said, O Brahma, in order to extort honor from the people you assumed the role of the Lord in a roguish manner. 10 to 11. Hence you shall not be honored, nor shall you have your own temple or festival. Brahma said, O Lord, be pleased. O flourishing one, I consider this sparing of my head itself a great blessing and a boon. Obeisance to thee, the Lord. The kinsman, the originator of the universe, the forbearing, the forgiver of defects, the benevolent one, wielding the mountain as his bow. Ishvara said. 12. O child, the whole universe will be ruined if it loses the fear of a king. Hence, you mete out punishment to the guilty and bear the burden of administering this universe. 13 to 14. I shall grant you another boon which is very difficult to get. In all domestic and public sacrifices, you will be the presiding deity. Even though a sacrifice is complete with all the ancillary rites and offerings of monetary gifts, it will be fruitless without you. Then the Lord turned to the deceitful Ketka flower, guilty of perjury and said. 15. O oh you Ketka flower, you are roguish and deceitful. Go away from here. Hereafter I have no desire to include you in my worship. 16. When the Lord said thus, all the devas shunned the very presence of the flower. Ketka said. 17. Obeisance to thee O Lord, your bidding will mean that my very birth is fruitless. May the Lord be pleased to make it fruitful by forgiving my sin. 18. Thy remembrance is reputed to quell all sins perpetrated consciously or unconsciously. Now that I have seen thee, how can the sin of uttering falsehood sully me? 19-21 Thus entreated in the middle of the council, the Lord said, It is not proper for me to wear you. I am the Lord and my words must stay true. My attendants and followers shall wear thee. Hence thy birth shall be fruitful. Of course in the canopies over my idol you can be used for decoration. The Lord thus blessed the three, the flower Ketka, Brahma and Vishnu. He shone in the assembly duly eulogized by the Devas. If you enjoyed this audiobook, be sure to like, share and subscribe to be notified when new audiobooks are uploaded. Thank you for listening and learning. Shanti